I have solicited the advice and recommendations of policing leaders across the country to find a reform-minded leader who could be the change agent in the city, this city, and our department needs. Today, I am excited to introduce to the Richmond community that leader. The next chief of police, the Richmond Police Department, Chief Gerald Smith. <laughs> chief Smith today is joined by his wife, Phyllis, and his daughter, Kaylin. Deputy Chief Gerald Smith was hired by the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department in January of 1991. Since that time, he has held a variety of patrol, training, and specialized assignments at various ranks within the organization. He was promoted to the rank of Deputy Chief in April of 2019. And as Deputy Chief for the Investigative Services Group, he oversees all major felony investigative units. His group is also responsible for criminal invest intelligence and state federal law enforcement partnerships. He attended the 264th session of the FBI National Academy in 2016 and the Senior Management Institute for Police in 2011. Deputy Chief Smith holds memberships in several professional law enforcement organizations. That is the International Association of Chief of Police, the John C. Smith University's Criminology Advisory Board, the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement, uh, North State Law Enforcement Officers Association, and the Police Executive Research Forum. He earned a Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice from Pfeiffer University and is pursuing a Master's in Public Administration through the Clemson University. Chief Smith is ready to lead this department in these challenging times and to work collaboratively with the community on how they want this department to operate. I knew we had the Chief of Richmond, Chief of Richmond that we need when he told me that the other day that this, his number one priority is to listen. His number one priority is to listen to the community because this is their police department. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a bold leader for a challenging time and I have full faith that this is the leader that can not only move the Richmond Police Department to the next level, but also bring our city together as well. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the next Chief of Police in the city of Richmond, Chief Gerald Smith. Good afternoon. How's everyone? It's kind of hard to judge the crowd when the masks are on. You don't know if anyone's smiling or or grimacing at you or not, but um, I want to thank, thank the mayor for those kind words and also for this great opportunity that I have before me. Um, I also would like to thank my family. We, we also have an older daughter who's not here. She was in Connecticut, her name's Kenya Smith. And, um, but I want to thank them because policing is not an easy profession for anyone and it's hard on people. It's also very rewarding, but it's also hard on families as well and the sacrifices that they've made over the years that have brought myself and brought us here, I just want to just publicly start off by saying thank you. Thank you. Um, I also want to publicly thank all these community leaders who are standing around me right now. We just had a very good conversation. I think it was a start. They listened to me. And that is exactly what I'm going to do starting off here at Richmond. I know we have challenges here, but the number one thing I have to do, as the mayor said, is listen. Because the number one thing that I want to find out is before we make any type of change is what's in the ground. I have great ideas. I think my ideas are great. And then I share them with people, bounce them off people, tweet them, and I think they work. However, we have to listen to these people around me right now to make sure that that is what they want. Police departments look different across the country. This is a conversation. They do. And in this country, we like our individuality. So police departments in Richmond look different than the police departments in Charlotte, police departments in DC, New York, Chicago. And that's because we like our individuality. 
And that individuality does not come from the person necessarily at the top. It comes from the community. So we're looking at the community being deeply involved in this police department. We're looking to actually be involved in the community. I think this is where we need to start. There are a lot of things that I've talked to the mayor. We've had some very long conversations about the history of policing and what brought us here, all right? And I think one of the things that brought us here was not to go through the entire history, but the Great Recession kind of hijacked community policing. A lot of resources, a lot of personnel were diverted elsewhere. Now, I don't think we ever got back to it. And maybe these people here, maybe they don't want community policing, but that's the question I will ask. That's the question I'm going to listen to. Whatever they want, to, whatever they want that's what we're going to do. We're going to work together to make a good department great. And that's not to say that this department has deficiencies or errors. It could be a, just a simple thing as just complacency. We could never get too comfortable. We have to always seek improvement. And I think that's where the Richmond Police Department is right now. I could go on and talk.